I've come to realize that we are not describing Jean-Charles Boisset correctly. We've been calling him a vintner, the title for the owner of a winery. But when we look at his work with Raymond, we need to call him what he is, an artist. His creation of the rooms, inside and out, is called environmental sculpture, which I know because I have a master's degree in environmental sculpture. Each space stretches beyond simple utility into a personal, sensual, or spiritual experience. This has created a new standard for wine country which other wineries have sought to copy. What is hard to duplicate is the rapid pace at which Jean-Charles and his team work. They seem to have taken to heart the saying, those that adjust to change first win. They are quick to change a room's purpose if it isn't performing the way they planned. A perfect example is their transformation of the 1881 property next to Oakville Market. It was designed as a museum and tasting room. While the museum was a hit, the tasting room was not, so it was quickly transitioned into a wine market. I visited Raymond recently with clients while they dealt with the COVID restrictions. There were fewer guests than I normally encounter, which provided some great video opportunities. These are just a couple of the spaces that Jean-Charles, the artist, has created. They moved their main tasting area into the shade of the Sycamore Grove, next to the old Raymond home. We haven't mentioned the garden rooms on which we did an entire 28-minute episode, which brings us to the philosophical question, what is a room? It is a defined space, no matter how you choose to define it. One of the most popular rooms faces you as you depart, because art often demands a frame. It is where the guests remember their visit by adding themselves to the artwork and sending their personal expressions out into the cyber world. Thanks for joining us. You can find more episodes with our travel books at winecountryatwork.com.